You are now tuned in to Heat Check with Ty Slatter and Antonio Turner right here on GTA Sports Network. Follow GTA Sports Network on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, GTA Sports. And don't forget GTASportsNet.com for all things in the world of sports. So Bradley Bill had multiple teams making offers, um, including uh, Miami was a close one. They they almost they almost made a deal, but uh, um, I believe, according to reports, he Riley didn't want to come off of Tyler Hero because he got to pick his players, and that was the deal breaker for that. Um, <clears throat> I don't think Robinson was in that deal. Max Struess might have been in it, but I know for a fact Tyler was a part of it. Yeah. And that was the deal breaker for Miami. New York, he just simply didn't want to go there. They had the best. The thing that, that makes it so crazy mm-hmm. is that particular – was Julius Randle, but – May have been. But a lot of it was, it, was, it was the fact that other teams made offers that had way better packages for the Wizards to build with. But because Bill had to sign off on it, sign it off was, and the players. Yeah, he was. He, it wasn't happening. So Phoenix, we'll get to the worst trade I've seen thus far, which just happened like the last twenty four hours. We'll get to that later. But Bill's trade is by far one of the worst lopsided trades I've seen in a minute. Who Bradley Bill? Yeah. For Shamit and, and uh, was it some second? It wasn't no first rounders. First fall. It, it was two second rounders and pick swaps, I think, and like four pick swaps or something. It was Chris Paul and Shamit. Chris Paul don't even count. He ain't even there no more. He, they, exactly. They him out. They part of the trade though. <laughs> Bradley Bill got traded for Chris Paul and Landry Shamit. I I I don't even. I'm like okay. I don't know whether I feel vindicated about it because. Bradley Bill's value ain't all that good, so maybe, maybe that makes sense. But there were teams willing to send a overhaul for an all. A, a, what you say, a three-time All Star? Okay, he he more of an All Star than Chris Middleton, so whatever. They the but, same number. They, but whatever. They both are three-time All. Same stats. Huh? Same no, players. they both three-time All Stars. Chris is not a three-time. He's a three-time All Star. How come Bradley Bill didn't get to go to Milwaukee? <laughs> we could have, we could have, we could have made. Well, a that's his boy, though, Kevin. Dur- you know, Kevin Durant gets what he wants. We could have made a straight up trade. We could have, we could have, we could have. You know, Kevin made. Durant gets what he wants. Could have sent Bradley Bill to Milwaukee for Chris. I would have. There was, I there was I a post. <clears throat> there was an old post from Kevin Durant from when they played on Team USA together. Uh and he was like, Bradley Bill could be the most unstoppable player in the NBA. He don't got the heart, though. I I, I got one for you. Literally, yesterday, yesterday my boy Filet, this guy I follow on Instagram, uh, posted John Wall highlights. Yeah. Like, like prime John Wall highlights. Mm-hmm. Before the injuries. I mean... We all know who the dog was in D.C. Between them two. Oh, yeah. Bradley Bill was a great complimentary, like a Dame and C.J. That's what John Wall and Bradley Bill were. Dame Mm -hmm. and C.J. Before the injuries. So when I see Bradley Bill get traded to Phoenix, they didn't even need him. They did not, but you know what this does? Makes them the best. It makes them once they get pieces around them. Makes them the best team in the West. So he <laughs> has admitted he can't win without a super team. Yeah, yeah. Because right now it looks a lot like the Brooklyn Nets West. The difference is Brooklyn at least had a team. Yeah, they was good in stars. But they were good in potential all stars though. They weren't good in like the whole farm. Because they had picks. <clears throat> yeah. The thing that saved Phoenix is the new CBA. They're not running for Peter tax, so they won't actually have to pay a penalty this year. They have to pay it next year. But if we got a rain body in, we don't really care. 
Oh man, they don't have picks until like 2031. They're yeah. they're like yeah. win now. They oh absolutely. They, they well, you got yeah, yeah. KD old. Ugh. They they mortgage the rest of the decade. But well, he's not but, old, but KD don't got he 35. Hey, let me be very clear. The championship window that was closed, they got two years. Yeah, you got a good two years left of Kevin Durant and probably level. Bradley Beal. Yeah, he right there behind him because of injuries. And Devin ain't too far off either. It's coming up quick. That hey man, people age in NBA years super fast. What you say? When you play over a decade in the NBA, that's a long time. Yeah. Anything past like 12, 13 years in the NBA is a long time. Here's here's the thing. Kevin Durant's 15 years in. <laughs> I don't see Phoenix winning a championship. They can be the best on paper. But I we said it. I can way, the way you just hyped up Phoenix, if they do successfully have a great offseason and they build the way you say they should, they're going to get the same amount of hype and expectations as Boston. And we've been talking about Boston being the best team in the East for the last two, three years. And look look at what they've done. No, I, I jumped off that what bandwagon. Have they, what have they done, huh? I jumped off that bandwagon. Which one? The Boston. Boston? Oh, you should have got off when the Warriors waxed them. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm only saying I got, off, I got off of that when they lost in the finals last year. That's what I'm saying. When the Warriors waxed them last yeah, year. Yeah, that's when I got off the bandwagon. The difference is Kevin Durant could be unsto- is unstoppable. Yeah, but see, here's the thing, man. Tatum is not unstoppable. Every team, every team Kevin's been on, barring his injury, because his injury took out at least two. He lost two years. Well, and, a big, and, a, and having a big foot, having a big, having a big toe. Yeah. Um, but injuries in played in that too, though, because mm-hmm. that series wouldn't have went seven if you had a healthy Harden and, and Kyrie Irving. Yeah. And I'm, oh, I wasn't a Brooklyn fan. I'm just giving. I'm just. Basketball, speaking of basketball. Yeah, that was facts. Who who did Milwaukee have that was gonna stop Uncle Drew and James Harden at their best? This is like right, this is after they both just got there, right? With Kevin Durant healthy. No. I, I like the fact that Bucks won, but I also am a realist. I understand they got their ring off of a blessing. They caught a blessing in disguise. The, the it was just meant to a happen. half a toe, a half an inch. <laughs> It don't get much closer than that. Mm-hmm. So now you got Devin Booker who wants to be Kobe, Kobe esque, and Bradley Bill because now Bradley Bill has this much pressure on him, five percent. If I'm Vogel, if I see any signs of DeAndre Ayton being aloof, not being, if I see any softness, Jock Landale is taking that starting spot. Oh, I'm trying. He still can get traded. Mess with me. Now Vogel don't got that kind of power, but <laughs> Matt not yet. Does. My, not, Matt yet. Does. <laughs> not yet. Aiden got to a trade deadline to mess with me. That's fair. All Star Weekend. That's fair. Yeah, exactly. And Andy, but yeah, we... <clears throat> yeah, yeah. We we getting that All Star Weekend. Um, I don't see fans winning a title with this title with this team, unless the league shifts. And in, in this offseason, everybody moves out the West and everybody goes East. And the West literally just has Denver. And which, speaking of Denver, uh, while I'm on the subject, they're going to have to make some some tough decisions because a lot of their players are free agents. They got to resign them. Really only one is the major one they got to keep, though. Which one? Aaron Gordon? Uh, he's not a free agent. Not, not Aaron Gordon. Who, who are you talking about? Bruce Brown. Oh yeah. Cause he was only gonna pay six million. He's gonna get triple of that. I think I seen something about him might like Boston might be trying to snatch him up. Yeah, people got I mean a lot of teams got more than six million to give to Bruce Brown. Yeah, I think I think Boston was on in the conversation with that. Man, I'm not that surprised. I'll tell you a team that should get him that ain't nobody talking about. I'm gonna make a hot take. The Knicks need to grab Bruce Brown. I ain't mad at that either. Somebody could give him twenty. Somebody could give him a hundred million dollar contract. And the and the and they and the crazy part about it is they got the pieces to get him and pay him. I got a team. They won't like it in Denver. The Kings. 
Who you trading? Barnes? Yeah, he a free agent. Oh, you ain't got to trade him. Never mind. Yeah. And they already traded uh, Roshan Holmes to free up like 15 